Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here and macOS Monterey is here. And I bet you're wondering what all the new features are. Apple lists a huge list of new features for macOS Monterey, but the problem is it gets really confusing for compatibility. And I'll show you what that looks like. If you had to scroll all the way to see all the asterisks on each different feature to say, well, wait a minute, do you have a Mac 2018 or later? Do you have an M1 Mac, a T2 Mac, a 2017 Mac? It gets really confusing. But the good news is I've got a really wonderful website that has a compatible chart that you can easily reference to see if a new feature is compatible with your Mac model. Let's get started. Let's first identify your Mac model. If you don't know exactly which Mac model you have, it's no big deal because if you think about it, the 2016 MacBook Pro to 2018 look very close. They look almost identical. So if you bought it a couple years ago and you can't remember the actual year, I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you need to do is go up to the Apple logo and click on about this Mac and then a new screen will pop up that says Mac OS Big Sur, tell you that the version that you're on, and then this is what you need to see, MacBook Pro 16 inch 2019. So you know right off the bat what version and what Mac model you have. There's four different compatibility sections here that we want to look over. First is 2015. There's no extra chips in there from Apple in that Intel device. Then you get to 2016 and Apple added the T1 chip from 2016 to 2017. And then 2018 to 2019, Apple added the T2 chip and then from 2020 to 2021 we have the M1 and the M1 Pro and then Max chips. So that's it gives you an idea when we go over here and we look at this and when it calls M1 chip here obviously that's the new M1s that are out. For example this section where it says erase all content and settings to be able to restore your Mac factory restore in under two minutes. Apple says you are required to have an Apple Silicon Mac or a T2 chip on the system. So that's where they reference those chip names in there. So you would need a 2018 or newer Mac to be able to use the erase it all content and settings. Now that we have those terms laid out, let's go and take a look at this brand new chart. I'm happy to introduce you to the Electric Light Company webpage. It was created by Howard Oakley and is one of my absolute favorite Mac blog sites. He absolutely loves Mac and he writes every day or every other day a new article about Mac or Mac OS. Definitely check out his website and this is the one that I wanted to show you. He wrote an article that says which of Mac OS Monterey features can your Mac use? A complete reference table. Howard went through this entire list here and went through all the ins and outs to find out which features of Mac OS Monterey are available to you and your particular Mac version. So let's take a look at how this chart's set up here. So how he has it laid out is on the left hand column he has all the models. So he has the M1 models up the top here from 2020 to 2021 and then he has the Intel models listed all the way down here on the left hand side. On the second column he puts the actual year so you can understand well wait a minute this is I have an iMac from 2017, this is your section here. Then on the top, he has the sections to say the biggest features that would probably matter to you. So the first one he has is low power mode. So if we look down in this column, you can see which ones are compatible with low power mode. And you'll see that some are gonna be white and that's because it's an iMac and doesn't have low power mode, it needs a battery. So it'll be the MacBook, MacBook Air, and the MacBook Pro. Now the next one is universal control. Once universal control is available to everybody, these are the compatible Macs. The next one is partial audio, then air to Mac and I've talked a lot about that. I'm really excited about AirPlay to Mac and then Object 3D Object Capture is here and then the, he has a special section that says that you need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and 4 gigabytes of video RAM. So that's a really particular one that was listed as an asterisk down there in the features. And then finally Portrait Mode, Maps, Interactive Globe, Explore Cities, On Divide Dictation, Continuous Dictation, Natural Text to Speech, and Live Text in Photos. And you saw that I talked about that too. That's a really great feature to be able to highlight and translate text right in photos. This is the entire chart. So you'll be able to go here and I'll include a link in the description so you can explore this yourself and find out if your Mac is compatible with these new features. I want to thank Howard Oakley and the Electric Light Company webpage for providing this wonderful chart. Make sure you check out his page and give him a look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it created value for you, give it a thumbs up or a share it. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber or a viewer I truly appreciate you and we'll catch you in the next video thanks